Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2022 Contestants Profile, Review and Analysis Welcome! So today, we will be talking about Mexico's representative for Miss Universe 2022 and also please stay tuned until the end of the video because at the end, I will be posting my updated leaderboard adding Mexico in it. So we'll see where she lands on our current list of favorites for Miss Universe 2022. And before we talk about the representative this year, let's talk about the performances of Mexico in the, la in the last 10 editions of Miss Universe. So that was 2012, to 2021. So looking at those years, they were able to they were able to pull five amazing placements and that was in 2012, 2015, 2016 and gave us the stunning Sofia Aragon in 2019 and then followed by Andrea Meza who won Miss Universe 2020. This year, they just crowned Irma Miranda. And before we continue, don't forget to follow her on her Instagram account, which I will be posting at the bottom of the, sc of bottom of the screen, and that is at Irma Miranda V, so that we can be able to watch and follow her journey to the Miss Universe 2022 competition. Now, Irma got a bachelor's degree in economics and finance, and she's actually a familiar face in the national pageant in Mexico because in 2016, she was actually the first runner-up of Cristal Silva, who represented Mexico at Miss Universe 2016. Now, six years later, she's back, and she won the title at Mexicana Universal 2022 and will now represent her country at Miss Universe 2022. For her national pageant performance, I think she's got an amazing figure during the swimsuit and her walk was on fire. It was great. And I love her energy when she's on stage, although I felt like in comparison to other ladies that has already been confirmed for Miss Universe, I felt like she could do much, much better with some more polishing. So I really hope that she'll, they will work on that as well. For the evening gown, although I, if her performance didn't make me wow, but I loved her gown choice. It fits her perfectly. And I love her facial expressions. Honestly, just by watching her performances for the two rounds and for all rounds of the question, of the competition, I felt like the way she works her face on stage is going to be her advantage. She knows her facial expressions. She knows what to do when facing the camera. I mean, perfectly executed when it comes to the face alone. So for the evening gown competition again, again as what I have said, I have only seen a short clip of her evening. I mean, I have actually seen the full performance of her swimsuit because there's a full video of the competition on YouTube and it was just a good performance, not really a wow moment for me, but it was good enough. Actually, she was the standout for me during that round of the competition. For Q&A, I did not under understand her answer, but I truly commend how she speaks with so much confidence and firmness. She didn't stutter at all, and I love her face when she speaks because it is apparent that she knows where she's going with her answer from the start till the end. The confidence was just right there. That's the woman who knows how to give and end her answer. So content-wise, I don't know. So hopefully sh someone could give the translation in the comment section so that we can check if she really nailed the question. I believe she nailed it because if not, she wouldn't want win the crown. But still, we're very eager to know what that is. For now, I think she's one of the ladies to watch out for this year. Although I don't really see her on the same league as of the ladies that I put on my winner's circle as of the moment, but I do see the potential in her. And I do see that she's got the potential to overtake some of the ladies that I place on top of her. It's just, I needed some more time to see more of her as well. And I'm looking forward to follow her journey and hopefully she'll dazzle as more of her surprises. So having said that, Mexico is the 11th candidate that we have reviewed and here's my current ranking for Miss Universe 2022. 
Number 11 goes to Kazakhstan, 10 for Mauritius, 9 for Canada, 8 for Korea, 7 for Malta, 6 Ghana, 5 for Dominican Republic, and I'll put Mexico at number 4 as of the moment. Number 3, Venezuela, number 2 for Philippines, and my current number 1 is Colombia. Maria Fernanda Aristizabal. So I would love to know your thoughts and commentaries about Mexico. Do you think she could go as far as top 5 this year in Miss Universe? And what are your thoughts about my current ranking as of the moment? And also, if you haven't watched my reviews for the other ladies in this ranking, you can check it out in my YouTube channel because they're already in there. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.